And I'm from Piedmont High School. So torture has been used as a means of attaining information for thousands of years. There are hieroglyphics of the Egyptians showing criminals being tortured to attain information. And there's a good reason for this. It works. Even the best trained spies have trouble keeping information secret when they're being tortured. Furthermore, torture, torture serves as a deterrent to many terrorists. If terrorists know that there's a potential for them to be waterboarded or electrocuted or some other means of torture, they're far less likely to take the lives of innocent people. And I think that's a good point that um, Dilan has not yet brought up, that it's a deterrent from future terrorists. So even if you question its uh, efficiency in attaining information from terrorists who have already committed crimes, uh, you can't deny the fact that it's a deterrent for future terrorists. No one wants to be tortured. By definition, torture is involuntary. Uh, I yield all my time to questions. So, um, terrorists are also, included terrorists are suicide bombers. So, do you think that really is that um, Alright, obviously you can't torture a suicide bomber. <laughs> 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 the thing is, like, if you capture one that is coming, do you really think it's a deterrent for, like, you know, terrorists who are willing to fly into planes? Well, okay, suicide bombers are a very small number of terrorists. Or I guess it's not, there's a lot of them, but like there's other types of terrorists. And yeah, sure, you can't torture them to prevent it because they're already going to kill themselves anyway. But even torture might be considered worse than blowing yourself up because it's a lot more painful to be waterboarded or electrocuted for hours than to blow yourself up. So I guess it could uh, serve as a deterrent for suicide bombers. Do you think that they're really going to give them the correct information? Um, I already said, even if they don't give them the correct information, it's a deterrent. But I do think that it has proven to be efficient. That's why it's been used for thousands of years. But even if you don't think so, that it's not efficient in attaining information, it's still a deterrent for other terrorists. Okay, Well, I already mentioned that the, the efficiency has already been questioned. Like, even if you question it, it still serves to prevent future attacks. But information has been achieved um, or obtained through torture. Uh, and that's why it's been used so much. I mean, it's been outlawed for ethical reasons because countries haven't had to use it for a long time, long amounts of time. For a long time, since a long time ago. Thank you.